thank you for being together and supporting each other. Thank you for going in. The house, the center, summer center in America, was one of the most expensive home. But I said to Haifa, I'm going to furnish it with $10,000. Who's going to come to you? I said, the president of America and you and your children. And, and this is how it happened. This is how we lived. Sleeping on a photo of natural cotton and cooking for all the people who comes. And we never asked for any money. And we have a plate outside where people, they can take money or put money. And many people came from all over the planet. The thieves, the this and the others and the killers. And this is why from the outer prison go to the inner prison and you change the portion into a better action. The poison is inside us. The cure is in the kitchen. I am the cause and the cure. Many books you can Google about macrobiotics. Michikushi, George Oshawa. Many people, they wrote books, but it's not like the real, the honest disciples of every prophet. And before Kushi left his body, he came to me. I was here from the etheric body. You can travel anywhere you want to go. We are cosmic energy. And he said, come back to Beckett if you are not safe in the Arab world because a great war is coming, killing each other. And Muhammad said it. Allahumma najjina min al azam what's going to be, he said. This small planet will go, it went anyway. But where are we going if we die? We are now two in my home, our home, Mansoor and Maryam. If we die right now, because in every breath there is a path to birth and death. Yes, when the baby came out, breathing. When the baby goes to death, breathing. So when we are born, how old is your baby? Three days. Three days going to the grave. We all our path to the death. But we are never born, never die, just visiting this planet Earth. So watch and be aware every day, what am I doing for myself? To be a selflessness for my Mother Earth and for my grave, what goes with me. When I see people on this, we love you very much, I'm from your follower. Don't be a follower. You are a fellow traveler. So we have the book. And if you don't have a friend outside, you will have your friend inside. So when I was living here like this, a woman that her father was born in Syria, came to me and then he came, she came back and she said, we have a feast that we want you to come and enjoy it with us. What is this feast? He said, you come, I come and I invite you and I go with you. Okay, I enjoy it because she knows a little bit in Arabic and I feel wherever I go, if somebody is from Iran, I feel them more because they say, Assalamu Alaikum, and I say, Assalamu Alaikum, may peace be on every one of us.